Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different and that is we're gonna be reacting to a guitarist. We're gonna be reacting to Tim Henson, who is pretty popular right now. And we're gonna see if me, a classical, a classically trained guitarist, can play some of his licks. Uh, and we'll see what happens if I can use my ear well enough to, uh, to play something that he plays. Um, yeah, basically playing by ear, essentially. Uh, which is something that classical musicians don't do, I would say, as much as, let's say, I don't know, like a jazz or blues player. Um, if you play blues or jazz, you're probably really used to playing by ear and you're probably pretty darn good at it. If you play classical, usually you read more from the score, which doesn't necessarily mean, though, that you have a bad ear. Um, especially for classical musicians, I feel like we kind of get a bad rap for having a not a good ear. It's not that we don't have good ears. I think it's just that we don't necessarily apply it in the same way that a jazz musician would because we take ear training classes. Uh, if, if you went to school for music, uh, we have to take classes where you train your ear essentially, but we don't train it with our instrument. That's the difference. We train uh, to be able to hear something and then have the ability to dictate or write, write down what you heard. Or you have the ability to hear, or basically you have the ability to, to look at a piece of music and be able to know what it sounds like in your mind or be able to sing the correct pitches just by looking at the sheet music. So it's not that we have bad ears, it's just that we apply it, I guess, in a different way. And I wouldn't say that one way is better or worse than the other, they're just, they're just different, right? So let's jump into it and see if we can react to some of Tin Henson's playing and then see if we can attempt uh, a couple of his licks or something. So here we have Tim Henson's YouTube channel. Let's see if we can check something out and see if we can play it. What about how to play Goat by Polyphia? I don't really know. The only piece I really know by him is playing God. When you play Muse. Okay, let's after this ad. But I don't really listen to him that much other than that. So I'm not really, this is probably a popular song by him that I don't really even know. So let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, wait, I lied, I have heard this one. But pretty much just, just that little intro, that's all I've heard. One thing I'll say is, the way this guy plays is, it's super creative, which I, I really admire about his, his style. It's, it's very, I don't know, you just don't hear a lot of people play the kind of licks that he plays. Um, which I like, it's almost like he has like contrapuntal voices, you know, where he has like a bass line that moves and with also like a melody at the same time. It's not just like he's soloing one line at the same time, which is cool. Oh, nice. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the goat riff. It's oh, he's gonna show us how to play it. Okay, well, we, wanna, we want him to not show us how to play it, right? So that you guys can see me suffer and try to play that by ear. Because I've heard that, let's do something that, that I haven't heard before so that it's like, it's fresh. What about something that's not too hard, please? What about, how about lift off solo? Let's see what this is. Kind of cool. Ooh, that was that was smooth. I like that. I feel like how he plays, it's just you get so many flavors. You know what I mean? It's so flavorful when he plays. I like it. I also like how um, I like how loose and relaxed he is when he plays. He seems like it's it's effortless, really, when he does it. It's it's quite impressive. All right, let's uh, let's try this. How about just a little bit? Okay. 
Okay. I don't have as many frets as he does. But we're up here. And I don't have the same sustain that an electric guitar has. We got that. Okay, so we got, we're in B minor. I don't have like a, I have to do an octave higher, but I can't hold a B like that. So we just, uh, I can't get the same action that you can on electric guitar. It's a little bit tricky on a classical guitar, but we're, we're getting it. Okay, this is where I'm gonna struggle. Let me do it one time. Okay, I can kind of get the tap. And then you just some like pentatonic run on the way down. I don't know, he does something weird up there. Then he goes crazy. Is he starting with the second string or first string? Something like that. Just a major scale? It's all tappy. That, that part is pretty cool. Maybe I can try that. Something like that. You can tell I definitely do not tap. The very last fret on my guitar. I think he did something like that. Something like, and then something like that. You know, tapping is actually not that not that hard, I guess, is it? But dang, it sounds good, doesn't it? And it sounds more even almost than this if you were to, to try to play everything. Yeah, that's crazy. Pretty dang cool solo though, not gonna lie. I will say I'm, I'm a little jealous of electric guitarists just based on how much more, I'm, 
I'm gonna say easy. I'm not saying what he's doing is easy because it's not, but like physically it's easier because of the action's lower, right? The action is like the distance between the, the strings and, and the fretboard. And typically on a classical guitar, the action's a little bit higher because we don't play uh, with, well, we don't play amplified, right? Unless you have a microphone, but typically you play acoustically. And so your action needs to be a little bit higher so that you can produce a bigger sound, but it means that you have to press harder with your left hand. And so a lot of times with the electric guitars, it's like you just touch it, you just touch it lightly and like, and it sounds, it's amazing, um, which is part of the cool part. And, and having steel strings that are amplified makes, makes life easier. But I'm not saying what he's doing is easy. What he's doing is, is quite incredible. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'm a Tim Henson fan for sure. I like what he does. He's a cool guy, cool guitarist, and creative guitarist. I think that's that's the coolest part about him, is the lines that he comes up with are super creative. And like I said, when he plays, it's like I feel like you get so many flavors and so many colors that uh, it's just cool. It's fresh. So, bravo, Tim Henson. That was my attempt at trying to play some of that. Um, I could probably go deeper if, if I listen to it a million times and I, I could probably come up with something, but I don't want to bore you guys with me just listening to the same thing over and over and kind of note by note picking the things out. But uh, there you go. There's me using my ear a little bit. So thanks for watching. And as always, leave me some video ideas in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.